Thank you. Um, Queen Victoria, I think she probably have settled nicely in this room. Uh, Queen Victoria once said, change? Why do we need change? Aren't things bad enough as it is? <laughs> well, I think some of the leaders of some of the emerging countries might uh, have some sympathy with that phrase at the, at the moment. Globalization creates innovation, and innovation creates globalization. Collectively, they often create more wealth, but they also create more expectation. And sometimes it exposes inequalities that exist in our societies. We've got demonstrations on our televisions at the moment in Brazil, where people want access to services. In Turkey and Egypt, where people want greater political and gender freedoms. So a question I think ought to be posed is, is innovation always good? Is innovation always something that creates social value? Philip Oppenheimer grew to regret the creation of his innovation, which was nuclear, the atom bomb. Just because we can do something does not always mean we should do it. How many scientists have regret their creations? How many scientists did not fully understand the consequence of what it was they were creating? We all know the internet is one of the most wonderful things that has existed, has been created in, in our lifetimes. But did Tim Bernerly, Bernerly realize when he was creating it throughout that human it would history make pornography accessible to all? Did he realize that in creating the internet, he, cre he enabled it would enable governments to spy on all of their citizens? Did he realize in creating the internet that today thousands and thousands of young people are learning to do one thing, which is how to become hackers, not only to hack into institutions, which may or may not be uh, a beneficial, fruitful thing, but to hack each other, to hack their friends, or hack their family, and so forth. And I think one of the biggest things that we as a new generation of new technologies will face in the coming years is the issue of privacy. And what does privacy mean in a highly innovative and global uh, society? And sometimes the, the consequences are not always intentional. So, but sometimes unintended consequences, sorry, can be a good thing. Today is the British Grand Prix. And it is through innovation in the design of cars that has now made aeroplanes incredibly more efficient and also reduce the carbon footprint. So people who are working on cars have had an enormous consequence beneficial in other areas of, of innovation, which they did not necessarily intend from the outset. I believe that innovators of the future have, and we are all innovators in our own way, I believe innovators in the future have got four challenges they face. One, to design only what is needed. Just because we can do something doesn't mean we should. And I sometimes look at what's happening in the fields of agriculture, perhaps in pharmaceuticals, and I sometimes think, do we really need all of those new innovations? So I think we should ask, innovators should ask themselves that. Secondly, to design in an ethical framework, in an ethical mindset, because again, we can always design things without having to, thinking through those things, but, but the consequence can be quite considerable. Thirdly, to design products and services that reduce inequality. And there's an old uh, saying that if you want to get rich, if this is a motivation, if you want to get really rich, create something that gives the masses people access to something that up to that point had only been the preserve of the rich. So design things that can suit everyone. And fourthly, 
and perhaps most important of all, to be wise. To realize that it's not that what I'm designing is not only what I want to, do, to, to, to emerge, but also that how, think about how it could emerge. Uh, that wonderful uh, Mary Shelley's story of Frankenstein. She was creating something, and, or he was, the, the mad professor was creating something and then a monster was created. That happens in all of our lives and with all of our designers. So it's important to think wisely about what could emerge from the designs uh, that we are creating. And I think that if we approach these issues with an ethical approach and with a little bit of wisdom and plenty of good innovation, we can make the global world today a truly beneficial thing for everyone. Thank you.